On a weekly basis, we take the time to break down and dissect matters that have to do with taxation and tax administration in the great state of Lagos. We bring you insights that broaden your scope on various topics tax-related. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Tax Talk. I'm your host, Oin Lala Sali. Before we go to the big story for today, let's first of all familiarize ourselves with the business news making the rounds. Go nowhere. This is business news. Lagos State Governor Mr. Babajitin Sowulu has disclosed that in the last five years under his administration, the state's GDP has risen by almost 50%, surpassing the size of the GDPs of over 40 African countries. The governor stated this while delivering the closing speech at the just concluded third African Caribbean Trade and Investment Forum in Nassau. According to Mr. Sowulu, Economic prosperity recorded by Lagos State over the last two decades has shown the strength and potential which any subnational government can offer in shaping the African growth narrative. He said, with a strong focus on internal revenue generation and strategic partnerships with the central government and private investors, the state had demonstrated how a focused leadership at subnational level could rework a nation's economic vision to create a sustainable growth pathway for the continent. The governor addressed a large range of audience from Africa and Caribbean countries on the theme, Global Africa, Global Lagos, the role of sub-nationals in driving the global African agenda. Mr. Sawulu said Lagos had grown from being a state in deficit in the military era to becoming a hub for investment and technological advancement. The governor attributed the success of the state to the unending effort by the state government to improve the ease of doing business and the decision to leverage technology and entrepreneurial abilities of its population for economic activities. He said Lagos is an example of a unique African success story shaped by an interesting mix of advantages and challenges. That's it on Business News. I've been making a start shortlist business. They give a 150k to my friends. Let's do this. Ah. Taxes? I didn't even think about this. So I'll have to pay tax to build a house in Lagos. Maybe I should take a remote job. That way, I can avoid taxes. But wait, too. bloggers and content creators pay taxes too. So tax officials in Lagos monitor digital space for tax payment. Wait, why don't I start importing and exporting of phones and gadgets? Bro, Alpha now. Femo, Alpha. Bro, I won't join the business where they do. Oh, smart. You just need money. I hope you have your tax clearance certificate. Tax? Are you kidding me? Without it, Shishi, you know if you do. You have to visit the nearest tax office. I can't believe it. There's no way out of this. I have to face my tax obligations if I want to start a life in Lagos. Dear Lagosians, your taxes enable the government to invest in education. Healthcare, security, housing, and many more. By continuing to pay your taxes, you are investing in a brighter future for all. This message is brought to you by the Lagos State Internal Revenue Service, LIRS. Welcome back. It's time for the big story. Today, we are evaluating the evolution of withholding taxes from concept to compliance from varying angles to give you a bigger picture overview. What is withholding tax? Who pays it? Who is responsible for its collection? And a few other questions. The aim here is to help you understand how withholding taxes have evolved from its inception to its current state. By the time our spotlight is turned off, you would have gained valuable insights. Stay with us as we bring you today's big story. This is the big story. The vibrant, bustling economy of Lagos, a significant portion of financial transactions occurred outside the formal tax system. To address these, a powerful tool is used to ensure a broader tax net. Withholding tax. 
This system plays a crucial role in making sure more individuals and businesses contribute to the government's revenue fueling the nation's development. What then is withholding tax? Withholding tax is an advance payment of tax deducted at the source of income. Its primary purpose is to expand the tax net, ensuring that more individuals and businesses contribute to the government revenue. Withholding tax is a it's not a tax per se. There's nothing like a withholding tax as a form of a tax. It's just a scheme, a method by which people are made to pay their taxes. It's a scheme by which people and organizations are made to pay their taxes. So that is a withholding tax. And the purpose is to ensure that, <clears throat> one, to bring a lot of people by virtue of their transactions within the economy, to bring them into the tax net. Once you get uh, them to pay with touring tax, you get their information and you improve on your database. So that is the focus. And of course, it uh, helps in revenue generation. Because the more people in the tax uh, net, the better for the revenue authority and the better for the system. The journey of withholding tax in Nigeria began in the late 1980s and early 90s. By 1993, the Nigerian government formally introduced withholding tax through the Personal Income Tax Act, or PITA. That same pivotal year also saw the introduction of the value added tax. These measures were designed to ensure tax compliance by requiring advance payment, thereby simplifying the tax collection process and broadening the tax base. Even before the colonial days, that's the pre colonial era, where we have uh, like the Western region, depending on things like uh, Ishakole and uh, Owori, you see, for them to be able to develop their area. Then when you go to the north, we have uh, taxis in form of uh, Jangali, Shuka Shuka, and uh, so on. So which have been collected by the, uh, the Emias then for them to be able to develop the uh, northern part of the country. So going to the east, we have things like uh, Uchu Amala, so for the elders there to collect and then used to develop their areas. Then uh, the colonial people came. So Nigeria was amalgamated. The North and South was amalgamated in 1914 with the, the coming of Elon Lugard, introducing the modern system of a taxation. So. Then uh, this continued until we get to the early 80s when withholding tax was uh, actually introduced in 1985. It was introduced and uh, it was on a limited number of uh, transactions, limited number of transactions like dividend, interest, and so on. So but as time goes on and with the need for the government to generate more revenue for the development of the society, then uh, the number of trans transactions became widened and uh, the interest, I mean, the rate also uh, increased. There are a lot of people outside the, of the uh, task net and you can't, are, you, you need to get them in. And people doing transactions with a company, registered company, uh, not paying uh, their own due or obligation to the government. So there was a philosophy that came and said, okay, can we bring them on board by making sure that when they work for the multinational or the registered company, so to say, you can use the opportunity to track them. They don't withhold the tax, depending on the rate, and uh, you remit. While you are making remittance, you are indirectly or directly uh, registering them because you will need to supply their name and uh, possibly address. As at that time, the issue of a uh, thing that identification number was not uh, there. But of course, you it suffices to that you, you you get their particulars into the hand of the uh, revenue agencies. That has brought a lot of taxpayers uh, who are not uh, in the net before now into the task net. And of course, it's the first step, you register them, they pay as at that time, but it's just the first step, and then there are a lot of things to do thereafter.
Withholding tax in Nigeria applies to a wide range of transactions. This includes dividend, interest, professional fees, director fees, consultancy fees, royalties, technical services, and building and construction. The process ensures that tax is deducted at the source and remitted to the appropriate tax authorities, whether at the federal or state level, depending on the nature of the transaction and the residency of the beneficiary. So we have some transactions that were specifically listed in the Tax Act. You see, we have uh, these uh, three acts that are actually managing withholding taxes in Nigeria. We have the personal income tax, we have the company income tax, and we also have the uh, petroleum profit tax act. These are the acts that are actually being put in place to manage the operations of withholding taxes in Nigeria. And in this acts, you are going to see the specific items that are affected by withholding tax, like uh, dividend, rent, director's fees, professional fees, commission, contract, and so on, and the rates that applies to each one of them. Either you pay at the state level, like you mentioned, Lagos State Internal Revenue Service, or you pay to the federal government. Uh, if you are a contractor or a vendor, uh, you, depending on the nature of what you are doing, you are under this bracket uh, for any collecting agent. The company or the entity you are having business relationship with. To deduct is an obligation that you must carry out. And so you are to deduct from the, the, the vendor or the contractor that is uh, doing that. Interest uh, and on uh, investment subject to uh, uh, withholding tax. Rent, landlords, you collect uh, uh, rent payment. You are supposed to deduct. Uh, if they are individual, you remit to the uh, state internal revenue service, specifically this time around to Lagos State Internal Revenue Service. If they are company limited, <coughs> then you remit to Federal Land Revenue Service. The administration of withholding tax involves two primary agencies, including the Federal Inland Revenue Service and the State Internal Revenue Service. While the Federal Inland Revenue Service handles transactions involving corporate organizations, State Internal Revenue Service manages transactions involving individuals based on the beneficiary's place of residence. To participate in this system, however, entities must register with the tax office under the pay as you earn scheme. Across Nigeria, the operations of withholding tax are consistent and governed by federal law, including the Personal Income Tax Act, PITA, the Company Income Tax Act, CITA, and the Petroleum Profit Tax Act, PPTA. Sections 68 to 80 of the Personal Income Tax Act specifically address withholding taxes. For example, Section 60 deals with income tax payment, Section 69 with rent, and Section 70 with interest. However, a notable provision is a deduction of 10% of any interest paid, which is then remitted to the tax office. While withholding taxes deducted on behalf of the federal government, remittance must be made within 21 days. Remittance for taxes deducted on behalf of a state must occur within 30 days. Can we migrate everybody to the banking sector? Once they are there, it is easy because for you to operate a, a bank account in the country today, you need your BVN. Once your BVN is there and your team, uh, 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 the registration with the identity uh, is there, then of course it is easy for the revenue agencies to capture whatever transaction you are doing. We need to make it easy and we need to uh, pursue this inclusive uh, policy regarding banking transaction. Once that is there, and a, state, uh, uh, a, a revenue agency like Internal, uh, Lagos State Internal Revenue, as I know, have sufficient uh, uh, technology to capture people who will be doing banking transactions. Meanwhile, the role of Lagos Internal Revenue Service is cleared. The LIRS is expected to divide withholding tax responsibilities between the Directorate of Personal Income Tax Act and the New Growth Areas Unit. This is to ensure payments must include a detailed schedule of beneficiaries 
as payers are expected to issue a credit note of certificate of payment to the beneficiary, which is used to offset their tax liability when filing returns. Despite these advancement, compliance remains a challenge. Major offenses include the failure to deduct and the failure to remit the deducted amount. Penalties for failing to deduct include paying the undeducted amount plus 10%, while failure to remit incurs a penalty of 10% of the amount plus an additional 5% above the monetary policy rate. In LRS, we always stress the issue of a compliance. Compliance is very key. So after complying, after making sure that uh, you comply, then the next responsibility is to deduct withholding tax. If you have a transaction that has to do with withholding tax, then it is your responsibility to deduct. And failure to deduct uh, has a penalty. Then after the deduction, then the next thing is to remit. So remit the withholding tax deducted. After the remittance, now apply for credit notes on behalf of the beneficiary. So, which means when we talk of operations of withholding tax, now we are talking of a two, uh, we are talking of a two parties, or we can even say we have a three parties. We have the payer, the person who is going to deduct. Then we have the beneficiary, the person who is going to enjoy what has been deducted. Then we also have the government in between, who is going to liaise between the payer and the beneficiary. The job of LRS is to make sure that uh, that money is correctly deducted and correctly remitted. When it is deducted and remitted, then it is our responsibility to ensure that a credit note or certificate of payment, as it is known at the state level, is issued for that beneficiary to enjoy at the end of the year when filing his or her tax returns. Withholding tax is an effective method for generating revenue, especially from those outside the formal tax net. It ensures advanced tax payment and broadens the tax base, facilitating compliance and enhancing revenue collection. This significantly impact revenue generation, contributing not less than 30% of the LIRS revenue. As the tax net expands and the economy grows, the outlook for withholding tax remains positive. If you don't have the technology, you can't capture them. If you can't capture them, you can't tax them. That is basic. So you need to, uh, technology will enhance your uh, uh, capturing the taxpayer. And uh, uh, the e-commerce of this world has also made a lot of people to hide or not to uh, uh, fulfill their tax obligations. As Lagos continues to develop and modernize its tax system, withholding tax will play an ever more critical role in securing the state financial future promoting transparency and ensuring that all citizens and businesses contribute their fair share to the state prosperity. Hello, sir. Good evening. How may I assist you? I made your reservation for a room. My name is Amod. Excellent, Mr. Amod. A moment, please. You made a reservation for Adelia to use for two nights. That will be 150,000 naira, sir. How would you like to make payment? Cash or card? Card. Okay. Thank you. Savings or current, sir? Current. Your pin, please. Thank you. You don't charge 5% consumption tax here? No, sir, we don't do that. Really? You're running a hospitality business and you're not charging 5% consumption tax? No. Who do you mean? Hey, bro. Alpha? Yeah, I'm at an apartment in Ogba and the receipt issued to me did not reflect. Uh, the payment or deduction of consumption tax. Oh, really? Thanks for the heads up. I will send the team to investigate. I mean, they, should, they should be penalized. Ah. Attention, all service apartment owners and operators in the hospitality business in Lagos State must charge and remit consumption tax to LIRS. Failure to comply is a contravention of the extant provisions in Section 9 of the HORC Law 2009, which attracts penalties as stipulated in Section 10 and 11 of the same law. Stay on the right side of the law. You're still watching the tax talk, and there were several takeaways from the day's treated topic. We talked about the evolution of withholding taxes from concept to compliance, 
Quick reminder that our social media handles are on screen intermittently throughout the show so you can engage with us across all platforms. If you've missed something in the course of the show, you can go to our YouTube page and find short clips and even the full episode available. Let's check out Tax Did It next. Whatever I see things of myself, what are the things we have done, what are additional things we've spoken about that we need to do. And you can see the citizens are actually very excited, right? And so really is to make sure that no part of Lagos is left underdeveloped or underdeveloped. Right? And tourism being in a major, a major cardinal of, 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 our, of our team's agenda, I needed to come and see things for myself too and also help. So it's really to just make you know, Lagos and Ladakh in particular um, a tourist destination you know, for all of our international and local audience to know that we're ready for feed. You're still watching the Tax Talk. Let's leave the comfort of the studio right now to the boisterous streets of Lagos to give voice to the opinions of the people on certain issues. Stay with us. Welcome to another exciting episode on Voice on the Streets on the Tax Talk. I still remain your guy Chibuzo. So as usual today, we are sampling opinions of our guys on the street. And you know how we do it. So let's go. You have to pay that you are against of government. Because we are all government. We are all working under the government. We also need to have, you have to pay our tax. That's the only way government can raise money. One of the ways government raise money to develop the country. So people should pay their tax. I, I really encourage people to, to pay their tax or their taxes. As far as you're working, you have to pay tax. Yeah, well, for me, um, it, it takes what we see on the ground by the government because they are the they are people that collect the tax and this, the whole essence of the tax is to develop, develop, develop the country or the community wherever the tax is being taken from. And it's a wrap on this episode guys. I see you mentioned we'll just see you next week. We've gone the whole nine yards on this edition of the Tax Talk and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. If you missed any segment of the show, our YouTube channel is available for your perusal. Our social media also carries materials from the show you can engage with. My name is Oin Lala Saleh, and I'll be back here next week, same time, same station. I hope to see you then. Bye for now. <laughs>